American Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8s are mainly used at its Miami hub. Now, the number of MAX seats from the airport has already exceeded the maximum recorded before the grounding. Some 45 routes are currently scheduled, with LaGuardia No. 1. However, the outlook is far from clear, as very few MAX flights have been filed from June onwards. American Airlines was the first airline in the United States to restart Boeing 737 MAX flights following the FAA's recertification of the aircraft. American Flight 718 took off from Miami to New York LaGuardia on December 29, 2020 the same first MAX route for the airline back in 2017. American now has 41 MAX 8 aircraft in service, according to Airfleets. Miami plays a fundamental role in American's MAX operations, as it has since done the first aircraft was received. So far, the airline has some 2.3 million MAX 8 seats from the Florida airport, analyzing OAG data reveals. This is despite June to December being far from finalized, as there are currently few routes filed for the aircraft. Nonetheless, these 2.3 million have already surpassed the 2.1 million recorded at Miami in full year 2018, before the grounding occurred. American Airlines has scheduled its MAX 8s to operate 45 routes from Miami, although this may change significantly given the minimal allocations from June onwards. Still, the top 20 routes until the end of May are shown below. LaGuardia leads by flights, with all or virtually all six daily departures by the aircraft, followed closely by Santo Domingo and Washington National. At 2,407 miles, Manaus was American's longest MAX route from Miami. It last operated on April 7, RadarBox.com confirms, although the route is no longer bookable until June 3 when the A319 will once again operate it. The reason for the near two-month suspension must be because of Brazil's rising coronavirus cases. There's a solid chance that the MAX will operate the route again later in the year. Until then, San Diego, at 2,267 miles, is now the longest. American serves the Californian airport once daily from Miami, with all flights, for now, by the 8th. San Diego has mainly been a B737-800 route in the past decade, although others, including the A321, have occasionally operated it too. Miami is American's third-largest hub this year, coming in behind Dallas-Fort Worth and Charlotte but ahead of Chicago O'Hare and Philadelphia. Simple Flying recently looked at the numbers behind its Charlotte hub. Miami has jumped up the ranks from fourth place in 2019, mainly because of greater cuts at O'Hare. Just 22% of Americans' Miami flights are by regional jets this year, delving into OAG data shows, well ahead of Philadelphia 59%, Chicago 59%, Charlotte 55%, Dallas 44%, and Phoenix 40%. Indeed, American now has 153 seats per flight at Miami, obviously helped by so few RJs and having a good number of long-haul and domestic widebody services. I hope I have delivered some information and value, please like and share this video. Also let me know any of your questions in the comment section below. I request you to subscribe to Airlines Press for more such airlines and aviation related videos. Thanks for watching.